when I first joined the firm in 2016, I got a ton of founders coming to me pitching their startups as like the Uber for X, Uber for, you know, grocery delivery, Uber for whatever. Um, and it was all about on demand convenience, simplicity for the end user, which meant commoditizing the worker to some degree because you needed to facilitate that on demand component. And over time, over the years, I started seeing more and more marketplaces that were not on demand that were pitching an interesting value proposition, not only to the end consumer, but also to the worker. So they were positioning their marketplaces and platforms as an interesting way for people to be able to monetize differentiated skills and creativity and what they really enjoyed doing, as opposed to just giving them a task that they needed to complete as quickly as possible, as conveniently as possible for the end consumer. There were lots of new platforms emerging that were enabling people to take some interesting facet of themselves, be it their special expertise or knowledge or a skill that they had and build loyalty with the end customer, such as to be able to maintain greater ownership and autonomy and pricing power over the service that they were offering. And so I realized that there was this trend of new platforms that enabled individuals to monetize individuality at scale and be able to take greater control of their careers in a way that the gig economy platforms never really enabled them to. And the distinction was really between commoditizing the worker in the gig economy, where they're all treated as entirely fungible and substitutable with each other, to in the passion economy, they were non-commoditized. They really emphasized and leaned in to their individuality in order to make money. So it was, it was a combination of that work experience that led me to this thesis, as well as my own personal background, which is that I come from a family of artists. My great uncle is a calligrapher in China. My aunt is a calligrapher. My mother is an art teacher. And I've just seen them throughout my life monetize creativity and cobble together different sources of income by selling their work or by teaching or by writing books or whatever it is and realizing it was so difficult for for many many people in the world to be able to monetize this kind of special talent and they were struggling to do so at times in their career but they had done it they were really restricted to just the customers in their local area but that new internet platforms i felt could represent a way for for other people to be able to turn what they loved into a career at scale because they could reach anyone all over the world. And so all of these thoughts were in my head when I published that blog piece last fall called The Passion Economy and the Future of Work. 